they're lucky to have Jacoby Brissett. Yeah, they're lucky. not lucky to have him. <laughs> they, they got they signed him. They gave him eight million dollars to come in here. That's not lucky. Hey, bat dad. I didn't hear no bell. He's lucky to be starting. No, like no, he's, he's lucky, lucky to be starting. Now I'm sure he's, he's lucky to get eight million dollars from this team Correct. and have a starting gig in the NFL. When he's he's getting, the lucky one. When he's getting slammed to the turf all the time, I'm sure there's you know second thoughts about how lucky he is. Yeah. But in reality, he what wouldn't you start up for, for any other team. Yeah, it's what you signed up. It's 100 percent what you signed up for. Yeah. And he's like, well, the receivers aren't any good. Maybe like it's a chicken or the egg thing. Like is Brissett giving those guys an opportunity to show that they're good? Yeah, and let's say this for the millionth time, but it's relevant. Yeah. Did you think Washington had, like, a good, talented roster? They were loaded. <laughs> they were loaded. You see Zach Ertz? No one likes Washington's Corpse roster. Zach Ertz. Terry McLaurin's better than anything the Patriots have, I'll acknowledge. That's it. one guy. It's one guy. It's one guy. No one likes Washington's skill position. Their line sucks, too. Line's terrible. Yep. They changed the quarterback. All of a sudden, they're hanging 42 last week, oh and they're 3-1. And, and they're a player for Devontae Adams, and they're going to the Super Bowl. Last People year, love them. Jacoby Brissett wasn't good enough to play on the terrible Commanders team. They, they, play got, they got rid of the guy who was better than Brissett. Now they made the quarterback switch, and they look like a different team. They look like a great team. Okay. I still hate the name and the uniform, but that's really a separate argument for another time. Yeah, I preferred Washington football team, as we <laughs> discussed uh, earlier this year. I, it should be the Redskins. <laughs> There were a lot of facts in that phone call. I would yeah. say that was a fact-heavy phone call. Yeah, I was waiting for the uh, the around the horn, like, doo-doo, doo-doo, doo-doo. Give him some Nick points? And then Nick was going to give him points because he came on to you, like, Nick a lot has, of takes. Nick, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. If we could, if we could just, you know, like, when you're when you're really dropping a lot of facts in your phone call, maybe we, he came could, over, which we could toss I out a few to, around the horn points. And I know that he was listening, and I appreciate that. And we, we appreciate all the calls. We do. But he, he's like, Gibson's got a history of fumbling. Stevenson is fumbling. Like, right. We just we went over this. We just went over we all did this. Just touch on the that. offensive line. David Andrews out for an unknown amount of time. All of it. He's out. He's out for all of the time. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he did go to North Carolina. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. That hurts you. Yeah, like uh, we don't care. We don't care where he went to school. Okay. We well, yeah, NFL. Hill. NFL facts. Got His it. Brothers also went there. Okay. <laughs> what the hell. This is an help. I think one played basketball. He won a championship. All right, but. So I would also argue, yeah. <laughs> why, why am I gonna go? He couldn't points? beat Virginia. <laughs> no, so this is also one thing that <laughs> makes no sense. If you are someone like our our last caller or uh, people on the text line and the Twitch chat, wherever it might be, listeners at large, yeah, that don't want to play Drake May and feel as though the team is lucky to have Jacoby Brissett out there and just get ragdolled every game, then now this must be true. You must hate the fact that Drake May is the backup. And the next guy up when Brissett gets hurt, because you got to be consistent with this. He can't be the backup if you're terrified to play him, because there's no way Brissett is going to make it through 17 games getting hit like this. Because we all acknowledge the offensive line's bad and the running backs are fumbling and the receivers are unproven. Like that's all true, but Elliot Wolf and Gerard Mayo have assembled a roster in which Drake May is one hit away from playing. Yep. And then what? You must hate. You must hate that. At least tell me you hate that. At least tell uh, they they left themselves bare with a backup plan if and when Jacoby Brissett gets hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven. Keith Patriots are at the quarter pole. Yep, we're four games in. They're one and three. That might have been expected. My big hope for the team this year is that the offense would take a step forward. Has not. I wanted them to be at least you know middle of the pack in scoring. I didn't are need not. top ten. No, didn't need them to be great. Where do they rank? They are. 31st in yeah. scoring. You know who's 32nd? Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins. Patriots are 13 points a game. What? Dolphins are at 11.3. They're the 13? Lowest yeah. yeah, yeah. Not game? great, Bob. Oh That's worse than last year. 13? Uh, so I, I was Georgia averages that in a quarter. <laughs> I was hoping Alabama. they would be middle of the pack. In terms of passing yards per game, the Patriots are dead last. 112.3. It hasn't. Gone great as far as the that's so bad the uh, the passing game. So this was my big hope, and that that to me is the biggest failure. I wanted a competent offense. Don't have one. They're nowhere near competent, and that's where you hope the switch to Drake May comes in. Oh, how what's he going to do? It's going to be any better. I don't know that. Yeah, more than 112 yards a game, more than 13 points a game, 32 and 31 respectively. I don't know that would be my hope. The post Tom Brady era. With New, in New England has been really remarkable to watch. And there's been a variety of quarterbacks, a variety of offensive coordinators. Here's where they ranked in the league in scoring. They were 27th the first year without Brady. That was the COVID year with Cam. They were 27th. They were 6th with Josh McDaniels and Mac Jones. That now, is shocking. It's shocking. But they spent a crap ton of money that year and really yeah. 
upgraded their weapons. I, I'm not saying they were perfect. They, Nelson Aguilar stunk. They, they loaded up. They, they ran loaded it up. up. Uh, Jacksonville, New York, they scored like 100 points combined or something. Yep. But whatever. Like, that counts. Like, they were six. Give them credit for it. They Definitely were six. counts. Then the Matt Patricia year, as much as we clown on the Matt Patricia year, 17th in points. 17th in offensive scoring. And I think they with ran, Matt Patricia they ran Judge. pretty well that year. For yeah. all the crap we gave them in the running game, they actually ran the ball good. pretty yeah, well. Yeah. I think Ramondre was good. Yeah. Bill O'Brien, 31st. Alex Van Pelt, 31st. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Look out below. There are 32 teams as a reminder. 32 teams. There is room in the basement. Do you they remember? were 30th in yards last year. They're dead last in yards this year. So Excellent. They, they are. So if you want to break the tie with them being 31st, they are actually worse this year. And they're dead last in passing again. Would you go? Yeah. 112 passing yards per week. This is not mm-hmm. a triple option offense. No. Nope. This is not the Wildcat. No. Oh, no, they did run the Wildcat once they and did. they scored a touchdown. Yeah, out of it. Uh, uh, Maybe they should be a Wildcat team. I would, you know what? Call up Ronnie Brown. What's he up to? Oh, he's probably ready to play. Yeah, Got a couple he, snaps he, in he him. Get in there and run around oh, the field. Hell yeah. Uh, do you remember the three players you highlighted, Keith, in the preseason that I believe, were non-Drake May players? Yeah, because we obviously we took Drake May to the side because that was one that everybody was talking about. But I believe they were uh, Jalen Polk, Javon Baker, and Christian Gonzalez. Uh, Polk has one touchdown. Yep. And you see he was responding to somebody on Twitter saying that he caught the pass on the sideline. I did. I, I likewise I, think it was it, close. I think yeah. it was a catch. I think his hip came down in bounds. I think it was a catch. So I at least remain somewhat optimistic with him. I think it's more the operation and not him for the lack of results. So I like, agree. I, I'm okay with him. It's the offense and the quarterback. He, to yeah. me, looks open and makes plays when they throw yeah. it to him. Javon Baker, unfortunately, is more known for his Instagram Live at Logan than he is for anything on the field this year. Can't get on the field. Uh, and then Christian Gonzalez, it's funny. I think he's been pretty good. The PFF stats would tell you otherwise, but I think he's been solid. Well, the PFF stats you got to pick because last week he graded out very well, and it's like, do we pay attention to PFF or do we mm. not? But like, like overall, that's, I that's thought a game the beat higher. writers are playing, but I, I, I agree. Like, him. like, I'm not saying he's Patrick Sertain or Sauce Gardner, but like, I like him. I, I think don't, he's good. I don't care about the PFF numbers. Yeah. I, I think he looks good. Yeah. And I think, you know, outside of one broken play to DK Metcalf, I think he's largely played very well yeah. this year. Uh, the Who'd player, the players I highlighted were Antonio Gibson, who's actually been pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Um, I think, I, was it, uh, Keon White was one of them, right? Keon White was one of them and Marcus Jones, who I actually think I've been mildly happy with. That's a lot of check marks for players who are actually playing well that we expected something out of. Yeah. It's just all of the particulars uh, and all of the, you know, players that uh, veteran players you expected more out of. You're really not getting anything out of those guys. And so the players that we were hoping would, if not break out, take a step forward or be productive. I think we're getting a decent amount of that. Maybe minus Javon Baker. But so here was the hope that the most optimistic hope for it was. Uh, middle of the pack offense, mm-hmm. as over you know optimistic as that was, middle of the pack offense, top five or ten defense. In reality, you have a middle of the pack defense and a, and a bottom, bottom three barrel offense. offense. I mean, you're almost lucky to be one and three. That's how you get on the Travis Hunter tier. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you end up on the Travis that's Hunter tier. Where we're at, yeah. Tier Tuesday yep. here on Jones and Keefe. Uh, tune in for it next Tuesday.